Hello everybody, this is Bram here. Today I have a bomb protection and PvP area for you today. And I'm going to show you exactly how to make this. It's simple. I'm going to show you step by step and what to go through. And yeah. But before I start this tutorial, go please leave a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a video. And yeah, let's get started on this tutorial. Alright guys, the way this works is in the top right, there's um, strength, resistance, fire resistance, resistance, and instant health, 255. That's the spawn protection type thing, so you can't die in spawn or safe area, you know. And this is where, this is our makeshift spawn block, so yeah. But the way this works is you walk through here and it takes it away, so in here is PvP. You could do whatever you need to do, and then you could go back, and yeah, it's just simple. And then when I... Um, kill, uh, if I can spell right, and click the right one, if I kill myself, or just die in general, I will spawn right here, and I will get my effects back. So, you, you will always have spawn protection when you're here. So, yeah, that's how that's gonna work, and the commands are gonna be, um, here. And all it is is the, these six commands plus the one underneath here. It is really simple. So the first thing you're going to want to do is slash give at s command block. It, it did not. It, it didn't work, guys. So this is what you're going to type in into your chat. And you're just going to give yourself a command block. And there's your command block. You can use it. You can do whatever you need to do with it. It's just there. Okay. And now for the spawn protection. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to have to have a tag, right? So the tags, I'm going to start at the bottom one. The tag's PvP. So what you're going to want to do is put effect at a tag um, not equal, so the exclamation mark is a not equal to PvP. And you're going to want to do fire resistance for one second, 255, and then true as in no particles. And you're going to want to do that one. And then you're going to do fire resistance. You can pause the video if you need to to copy the commands. And then you're going to need this one which is strength, and then this one's instant health. And all these commands are repeat, unconditional, always active at zero ticks. That's all of them right there. And that's the perks you need for spawn protection. And then right here, this is how this is going to work. What you're going to do is you're going to find the coordinates, so the X, Y, and Z. You're going to find the coordinates of this block right here. Or the one that's closest to the negative number. You know. Yeah, you're going to do that. So that way it's positive whenever you advance in either direction. You're going to find that corner. You're going to find this block. So the coordinates on the top left is where his mind's at. And then you're going to want to count. So if it's going Z this way, it should be whatever direction it's going, positive or negative. It should be positive if you chose the one closest to the negative. You count. not. You don't count this one. This one is not counted, so you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. And in this case, this is my x. So x plus 4, so it's x4. And then in this one, I'm not going to count that one, so this is going to be y. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's 4 right there. And the reason we're counting that out is because this spot right here, the x, y, and z, is the starting block. And then distance of x is 4, so that's why I counted off the 4. And then distance of y is 4, so that's why I counted up. And if you're going to do z, instead of going this way, you would go this way for z. But, but distance of commands basically gets that, this is a square that that whole thing is active in, and it's only in that square that we defined. And then what you're going to do is tag at a, put those chords in, or your coordinate numbers and stuff, and then the distance, however you have it set up. And then you're going to remove PvP, which is the tag, which is the safe zone, because whenever you have that, then it's the safe zone, whenever you don't have PvP. And then you're going to do the same thing, but if it's the same dimensions and everything, all you have to do is move it by over by a block, wherever, like, if it's Z, my, in this case, it's adding a Z. So wherever you have your set, you just move it over by a block. In this one, it's tag add PvP. So you're adding the PvP tag to it. 
So it's going to be tag at A equals negative 7, or no, this is the just my custom stuff, and then the same distance of Y. Yeah, don't, don't pay attention to what I said, negative 7, but you're going to find the chords of that block and then do the distances as well, and then you're going to add the PVP. So that's simple right there. And then for it to be whenever you die, what you're going to want to do is find your spawn point, um, set world spawn, and then you're just going to set it wherever you're at, which is right here for me. And then underneath, it doesn't have to be underneath a slab. It could be underneath a block, if ever, however you want it. And if you're going to put it under a block, I recommend doing a radius of 4 but or 3. It really depends on what you want to do. But basically, you're tagging at a radius of 3, removing the tag of PvP so they have a safe zone and I don't have a slab. Um, okay. Just a second. Um, there. But what it's doing is, whenever you spawn here, it's constantly removing the PvP tag. So, yeah, and then here's the stats. Repeat, unconditional, always active, zero ticks. I think that's literally every single command block. And I am clicking buttons wrong. But every single command block is that, yeah. Every single command block is repeat, unconditional, always active. But yeah, this pr system's pretty simple, and it works great. Literally, I can fly up on this block using the distance commands, and it will literally still work. And you can use this on, like, kit PVPs, prison servers, and I don't know why it didn't work when I flew through it. But, like, if you're sprinting really fast, it will, it should detect you. I don't know. But <laughs> it should detect you. I don't know why it didn't work that one time. Maybe it was just lagging or something, but, you know, it wor it's supposed to work 100% of the time, and if it shouldn't, it, the ticks are off or something. I don't know. But, guys, if you really enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you really loved it, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a video. And I hope you guys use this system, and I hope this was a big help for you. And just thank you guys for the support recently. I have been growing like... I never thought I would grow this good and fast. But thank you guys for the support. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. And this has been Bram, and I'm out.